Cuddy from Cuddy TV in the building, you already know what the f*** going on. Niggas talking top 10, top 20, top 5. Nigga, you not even top 5. Let me show you what top 5 really is. Niggas want this crown, come and get it. Know that in the f***ing building. Cuddy TV, let's go. I got everything. We on everything. Jersey, we on. Yo, what the fuck going on, nigga? It's from the jails to the bricks. I got my boy Chewy in the building with me. You know what the fuck going on from the jails to the motherfucking bricks. It's the official Chew with the official Cuddy. You know what the fuck going on. Yeah, I see that you added that official. Yo, when you sent me that video, I was like, oh, he the official Chew now. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely, you know what the fuck is going on. It's, man, listen, there's only there's only real ones, and we the official ones, my nigga. We gotta make that certain. We gotta make that certain and clear. You know, a lot of people be fraud, a lot of people be faking. We gotta bring it to them exactly how we represent this shit. That's definitely a fact. Uh, so it's been a minute since they heard from the both of us. Uh, we, you know, we still be clicking and moving. You know, so we gotta update the people. Um, let's start with update and then we... Very anticipated, though. It was very anticipated. We better make people happy with this one. Facts, because they definitely been waiting. You know, they see me with everything I got going on, and then, you know, they can't really see you, so this is the best way that they can hear from you and see you besides your uh, videos on YouTube, which you got two freestyles on YouTube right now, which people been reacting about. How you feel about that? You know, you know, I'm, I'm very appreciative of everything that's going on. I just need to, um people understand where I'm coming from as they keep on listening they keep following they keep understanding where I'm coming from they're going to get more and more of me they're going to understand me more and I'm a very relatable I'm a very very relatable so they're going to understand um, every point of view that I'm, that I'm trying to make yeah, facts, because what you're doing right now like even what you've done like because for, for everybody who don't know like You've been in jail your whole sentence and you don't got no charges on you because you've been staying steady, you've been staying out of the way. Uh, you're working on your appeal to come back home. You know, we got new laws passing in New Jersey that's looking good in your favor. So it's like right now is like the best intense time for you because you like, damn, like I really do see the end of the tunnel now. So with that feeling, like I know that feeling got to be crazy because you've been in there for so long. So now you're starting to see things come back like, yo, I really might be coming home like in the next couple of years, bitch, I might come home next year type shit, like, so it's like you almost getting like a... See, see, people, a lot of people don't know, almost a decade has passed since I've been incarcerated, understand? A lot of things has happened since I've been incarcerated, and this is, this is like, um, not saying it's perfect to be in jail, but this is a perfect time for everything to be, um, changing. So this is a time for change. This is that year for change, and a lot of people are fighting. A lot of people are encouraging the change to happen. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm sitting here fighting as well. I'm, just because you can't see me, just because you can't see the footsteps and the footwork I'm putting in, the progress that I'm making, oh, this, the best belief this is the opportunity for me to, to let everybody know what's going on. Um, not just me, but you as well. Uh, the official Cuddy making it to the news on multiple stations. But can we talk about that? ABC, NBC, CBS, Yahoo. Uh, the New York Weekly, Kivo Daily. Uh, these are all things. If you go to Google right now and you type in Cuddy Entertainment Mogul, I fill up the front page. To me, I did that for you for real. Like, I just, you know what I mean? Like, I really wanted to show you that what we got going on is really real. Like, because I see you working. Like, I see you staying. You staying. You keeping your head down. Like, you are really focusing on coming home. So, I'm like, I really need to tune in and focus so that when you get back, like, the business is set up where you can just come out. You got you got money waiting for you. You got a whole platform to get on. It's like, it's, everything's going to be built for you. So it's like, you don't have to worry about like making the wrong decisions again because you have a good life waiting for you. You just have to now, it's up to you to make the decision. Like as I'm writing my book right now, in my book I put in there, we all have decisions to make. And it's like, once a decision is made, it teaches us. And I feel like the decision you made definitely has taught you so now when you come home, you're ready to really do it the right way and the way that you've really been wanting to do it overall anyway because we've had talks of being rich and being millionaires but doing it the right way, you know, owning businesses, having real estate, doing stocks and forex and all of that other uh, good stuff just to keep us out of the streets and more around people who are going to help us elevate. And I'll also, also use this opportunity to let everybody know that the dream, a lot of people don't, don't have the dream. A lot of people don't see the dream. The dream is free. The hustle, I think, um, to 
Ziggy Drama said it the best. The, the hustle is what we can teach. A lot of people don't have that strive, don't have that passion behind their hustle, behind their dream. A lot of people aren't achieving things because they're not able to see the dream. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use our opportunity to also excel other people's lives. We're going to use our platform to help people see the dream and not just have, to have a dream, but to see it and know that it's attainable. A lot of people don't see it, their dreams as being attainable. But we are just like oh, the conversation that we have that's not recorded. We keep resulting back to the guy, Jeff Bezos. He has so much money out of this world that he's actually able to change the climate, the environment. And he has money to change. And, um, like, he has money that he can put into green gases and, and literally change the environment that we're living in. So, th- like, th- the things that we're talking about, a lot of things that's happening, the dream is attainable. Don't for a second think that you can't accomplish something. The only time that you can't accomplish something is when you take your eyes off the prize, stop fighting for what you know is right, and stop seeing the dream. That's the only time where you're not going to see, uh, achieve success is when you stop fighting for it. So we want you. We need everybody to understand what you're looking for, what you're passionate about, how far you're going to go to see your dream, and, and how far you're going to go to hustle, not just uh, looking at hustle, the word hustle, in a negative aspect, but using every sense of the word and taking out the negative parts of it and putting in a good example because we elevate we're showing people what's right we're showing people um, achievement we're showing people that just behind the walls outside of jail nothing can stop us from being who we really need to be that's facts I mean just look at you I mean you in jail still chasing your dreams like how like like how is that like what like what really keeps you focused and, and on a positive way for people who don't know and are trying to get there like how do you do it what I do is I, I keep a strong environment. I keep a strong mindset. I keep a strong headset. Like I'm, I got a, I got a good headspace. I got a good support system. I got people behind me that's helping me see the dream as well as chase the dream. It's not just, um, it's not just as easy as okay. I wanna, I wanna achieve something. I'm gonna do it. You gotta have that, that passion. You gotta have the people behind you that's helping you achieve the dream. It's not just about yourself when you're doing things um, to change your life. I'm not just doing things to change my life. I'm doing things to change myself, my surroundings, and the people that 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 that, that are around me. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about us. It never started with us. It's never going to stop with us. Everybody got to see the bigger picture. I understand that it's a better way, not just for us, but for everybody else. That's that's, right. that's, that's the passion behind, but behind the goal. We got to change life for another generation. It doesn't stop with us. That's facts. Because even inside of my new uh, news article, I said. You know, my little brother's in jail. My goal is just to save one. And if I can save one, I know I can save another. And Absolutely. And that's really it. Just day by day, we want to just try to inspire one other person any way that we can. Because we, because the odds is always stacked stacked against us. Is what you do with the odds that's going to make you successful. Absolutely. Just like you just said, it's, all, it's about changing just one person's life. Um, a lot of people don't know that you changed my life and like I said like we both said yesterday you changed my life and I changed your life that in turn helps to change somebody else's life that's in your life and that one person's life that you changed that one person is going to change at least a hundred more lives because all it takes is one person to change another person's life numbers just keep adding up people do the math right numbers just keep going up Um, lives just keep changing the the, uh, the world becomes a better place but it also has to come from understanding a lot of people got to understand that everything isn't going to come by day and night you gotta actually put that work in. That's don't it. don't sit don't sit on the couch. Don't sit here with your twiddling your fingers, thinking everything gonna come to you. Having faith, having hope isn't enough. You need to put in that work to get you to the next step. It's great, and I'm telling you, it's great to have faith and hope. But everybody has to see the next step. That God isn't just um just gonna put things in front of you. Besides um, obstacles for you to overcome, so you can see the bigger picture and actually. Um, Accept the opportunity when you see it in front of you instead of not knowing what to do. You gotta use the uh, opportunities in front of you. You gotta use the establishments and the platforms platforms that's put in front of you. You gotta excel. It's not just about your life. It's about everybody else. You gotta change one step at a time. That's facts. I I, I just agree with what you said. God will put nothing but obstacles in front of you for you to see the bigger picture. It's like you really have to pay attention to the people around you. You got to pay attention to their reactions. You got to pay attention to how you react to things. And you got to pay attention to the people around you. And that's going to identify how far you're going to go. Thanks. You know what I mean? You got to keep it. And you definitely got to keep a solid head and understand that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Uh, the book that I'm writing right now. 
the title of it is the they told me that I couldn't do it. That's the title of it. They told me I couldn't do it. And I'm literally just telling people my experiences in life, even with Cuddy TV. People told me I couldn't do Cuddy TV. People told me I couldn't be on TV. People told me I couldn't have a podcast. People told me I could. It was multiple things people told me I couldn't do that I'm doing currently. So it's just like now I feel like I have to share my story with somebody else because I know if somebody hears my story, they're probably going to do the same thing. And I might be able to change their life the same way people have changed my life. Yeah, man. That's, that's what everything is about. That's why, that's why we're taking it from the jail to the bricks. Because there's a lot of people that count us out, count people out that's in prison. A lot of people think that in time you can't change your life. That you had that same mindset. Like when I got locked up, I was 16 years old. I got the same mindset seven years later. It's, it's not accurate. What I did at one time point, at one second of a day or one hour of a day, that doesn't that doesn't define who I am as a person. That doesn't define who I am. The character traits that. Um, that I present to other people. That doesn't stop me from loving somebody else. But I did. I don't even really want to talk about it. If people want to look it up, they know my name. They know how to how to search my name up. That has nothing to do with the character or the personality of who I am. And as people keep um, tuning in and keep understanding where I come from and, and with the things I'm trying to do to change lives around me, it's never going to stop. It just it was just me. It's going to my, my, my project. My um, my, my hindsight, what I see is, is, is the change, bro, the change environment. Not just people being in jail or looking down upon people that are in jail, but to help empower people that are in jail to do something extravagant when they come back out. Because it's, it's never going to stop. It's just gonna, people that's going to get incarcerated, there's people that are going to get, that's going to come home. We can need to accept the people coming home, helping them mentally. Because a lot of things that deter you while you're in prison, a lot of people, a lot of things that people don't understand that happens to us while we're in prison, that condition of... You have 60 seconds remaining. This is a certain way, and a lot of people think that because we're locked up, that we can't change our ways, and that is, that is the complete opposite of what's actually happening. And I'm going to be the, I'm going to be one of those people that show you that just because just I'm behind a wall, just because I'm in shackles, it's not going to change who I am in my heart. I was just about to say, I mean, look, he's the perfect example. He's he's in jail right now. He's got no chargers. He, he's got his high school diploma in there, working on getting his college degree. Like, you can change if you want. Hey, man, from the jail to the bricks, I want to let you get your last words in. Everybody, I need everybody to see it's not just about one person, it's a bigger picture. And I'm, I'm not here to support everybody, I'm here to lead everybody. This is by example. That's facts.